Just want to show you a quick overview of this little device. Um, it's called MIDIPAL. It's from a company called Mutable Instruments. Um, what it is is a, a MIDI um, toolkit. It's got a number of different um, applications inside that you can configure to control different MIDI signals. Uh, essentially you can trig trigger a MIDI keyboard uh, and you can do a variety of different things with the MIDI before it hits the destination synth or um, sound unit that you're using. Just a quick um, overview. So I'm just going to use the MIDI pal to uh, control um, the analog 4 uh, from the keyboard of the OP1. Um, if we just have a look at what channel uh, we've got set up, we've got channel 2 MIDI set up on the OP1. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is I've got the MIDI pal switched into monitor mode. Uh, I'm just going to have a look at what um, the middle C key is. So if I just use, um, you can see that we've picked up C4 on channel 2. Um, the final dash is showing the velocity and there is no velocity from the OP1 keyboard so that's why it's just showing a dash. So now we're going to set up and split the keyboard uh, from C4. So we're going to move to the splitter app and we're going to select channel 2 as the input because that's what the OP1 set to. We're going to split at C4 We want the low part of the keyboard, anything less than C4, to come in on channel 1. And anything above C4 will be tra transmitted on channel 2. If we look at the global setup on the A4, and we select the MIDI config, and then MIDI channels you can see that channel 2 is assigned to track 2 so because we uh, channel in the uh, signals from the OP1 keyboard onto track 2 above C4 um, we need to just make sure um, that whatever sound is on track 2 is what we're going to be triggering from the OP1 part of the keyboard so we're going to put a bass sound uh, onto track 2 so if we play the bottom half of the keyboard you just hear the OP1 and anything above C4 you can hear the bass from the A4